with a new bi-turbo diesel engine producing a claimed 160 kilowatts and 500 newton meters, LDV's updated T60 Max can now lay claim to being Australia's most powerful four-cylinder dual-cab ute. But does the Chinese upstart's performance hike deserve to entice even more buyers away from its big-name, big-selling rivals? That's what we're here to find out. LDV has carved a solid foothold in Australia's dual-cab 4x4 ute segment with its T60, which first hit the Australian market in 2017. Now the T60 has been updated for 2022, with a four-variant model range bringing a new two-litre four-cylinder bi-turbo diesel, the option of a new eight-speed ZF Auto, refreshed styling and some interior tweaks. First seen in lower output form in the closely related LDV D90 SUV, the beefier new engine is now standard across the T60 Max range, including the entry-level Max Pro and the high-spec Max Lux. Here we're testing the range-topping T60 Max Lux Auto, which, at just over 40k, is now priced $5,000 higher than its predecessor, but still about 10 grand less than some of its top-selling competitors. While the T60's body essentially carries over, LDV has toughened up the ute's look with a larger grille, chunkier bumper and sleeker LED headlights up front, while at the back we have a new moulded section emblazoned with T60 Max across the rear tailgate. It's a mild styling refresh and there's no sailplane as fitted to the LDV Max's pickup concept ute revealed in mid-2020. In fact, roof rails and side steps have been dropped from the range, along with the sports bar on Lux variants. So the prime focus of this update lies firmly on this new bi-turbo diesel engine, which on paper at least, outguns Ford's 2.0-litre bi-turbo Ranger by 3 kilowatts and Toyota's 2.8-litre Hilux by 10 kilowatts while matching both for peak torque. Meanwhile, the new 8-speed automatic transmission, available in both Pro and Lux trim grades, features eco and power modes, as well as full auto or manual shifting. It adds a $2,000 premium over the six-speed manual. Couple that with a part-time 4x4 driveline with dual-range transfer case and an Eaton auto-locking rear diff in Lux variants, and the T60 Max is ready for the rough stuff when required. If you've never considered an LDV ute before, hop in a T60 Max and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Yes, there are hard plastics throughout the cab, but they fit together nicely, the instrumentation is classy, and the commercial underpinnings are complemented by soft touch surfaces, piano black and silver trim, and contrast stitching. It's really not a bad place to be. The plastic steering wheel has integrated controls, but it's only adjustable for tilt, not reach. While there's leather upholstery throughout the T60 Max Lux, plus six-way electric adjustment and heating for the front seats. The headline update in the cabin is this new and slightly larger multimedia touchscreen, which has grown in size from 10 to 10 and a quarter inches. It's a higher quality display and faster and smoother in its operation. And while some of the icons are a little bit small, it's easy and intuitive enough to use. Having said that, there's no integrated sat nav or digital radio and the seat heating function is only accessible through the touchscreen. But the unit does come with Bluetooth connectivity Apple CarPlay and Android smartphone mirroring, and there are two USB charge points and a 12 volt outlet at the base of the center stack. As for safety, the T60 Max comes with a five star ANCAP rating, but that was achieved way back in 2017. It has all the basic staples, along with lane departure warning and a 360 degree camera in Lux variants, but it misses out on most of the latest safety advances, including autonomous emergency braking. Cabin storage is par for the course for a dual cab U. We get a locking glove box up front, a small center console bin, bottle holders for each of the four door pockets, and twin cup holders front and rear. Gripes, well, the reversing camera display could be a little crisper, the placement of the mirror adjustment knob is a bit awkward, and the illuminated settings on the drive selector and gear shift are difficult to read in full sunlight, none of which are deal breakers. But there's decent head and legroom in the second row seating, and that isn't always the case in the dual cab ute segment. I'm 188 centimetres tall, or 6 foot 2 inches, and I fit back here just fine. 
Second row occupants get dedicated venting for the climate control, a fold down armrest with cup holders and a 12 volt socket. The two outboard seats have top tethers and Isofix mounting points for baby capsules and child seats, but smaller kids may struggle with the lack of side steps when climbing in or out. And back here at the business end, the T60 Max's tub features a spray-in bed liner and four sturdy tie-down anchor points. The tub floor measures 1485mm long, but it's not quite wide enough between its wheel arches to fit a standard Aussie pallet. An updated version of the long wheelbase T60 Mega Tub isn't currently available, but LDV says it will return to the lineup soon. Surprisingly, however, maximum payload has dropped a little in this update, by 65 kilos to 750 kilos in this Max Lux variant. And there's no change to the T60's subpar three ton brake towing limit. So that's a rundown on the facts and figures. Now let's get out of town, hit the bush and see what it can do. Jumping behind the wheel of a T60 Max really showcases just how far Chinese automotive products have come in recent years. They look so much better, there's so many more features and they drive so much better too. And the performance hike in this latest T60 is a welcome one. Maximum power is up by 50 kilowatts but now comes in 600 RPM higher in the rev range at 4000 RPM, while peak torque is up by 40 Newton meters. That max grunt now starts 100 RPM lower at 1500 RPM, but it's maintained across a narrower 900 RPM band. The T60 Max also comes with two different suspension tunes. There's a heavy duty tune in Pro variants and a comfort tune in Lux variants like the model we're in here, with all models riding on double wishbone front and leaf spring rear suspension. When unladen, even the ride in this comfort tune is a bit jiggly and juddery. But that's not unexpected and, as with all LCVs, the ride will invariably improve with a load. I have to say, I'm really pleasantly surprised with the overall level of refinement. Engine noise is nicely suppressed by ute standards, the steering has a nice weight to it, and the brakes, though perhaps lacking a little bit in the way of initial bite, are progressive with nice modulation at the pedal. The new ZF 8-speed auto is a step up from the old 6-speed auto. It shifts smoothly and quite quickly, and for the most part it makes a good fist of selecting the right cog for the immediate job at hand. And despite the performance boost, LDV says fuel economy for the T60 Max has actually improved marginally for auto models. In any case, we saw average consumption span 9.3 to 12 litres per 100 kilometres over a range of driving conditions. OK, so the T60 Max has acquitted itself well on the bitumen. Now let's see how it handles some dirt. The T60 Max can't quite match the front runners when it comes to ground clearance, weighting depth or approach angle. And the underbody protection is fairly modest. But the part-time 4x4 system seems to work okay. There's an Eaton diff lock in Lux variants and there's certainly no shortage of grunt for climbing up and over obstacles. All models receive hill descent control and hill start assist, plus a Borg Warner torque on demand system. While the Eaton rear diff lock in Lux variants kicks in automatically when required in low range at speeds under 30 km an hour. While the transfer case shifts between high and low range with impressive speed and conviction, the T60 Max does make quite a range of pronounced mechanical noises as it determines how to best direct its available torque, and as it engages and disengages its diff lock, though you get accustomed to the cacophony soon enough. The suspension does a competent job in both slow, technical terrain and at higher speeds over corrugations, while axle articulation seems pretty healthy too. In general, the ute gave a good account of its off-road abilities at our local off-road test venue, doing all we asked of it and with a reasonable degree of proficiency. We'll reserve final judgement until we've put its towing and load carrying credentials to the test, but as a package so far, it's shaping up well. Of course, the area where the LDV really shines is price. The T60 Max is now $5,000 dearer across the range, but it still undercuts its established rivals by about 20%. And it's all backed by a five year, 130,000 kilometer factory warranty with complimentary roadside assistance. The bottom line, this is a lot of dual cab ute for the money, 
even with the updated model's lift in pricing. And with a significant dose of extra performance, one of the model's previous shortcomings has been comprehensively addressed. So, should you buy one instead of a Ford Ranger or a Toyota Hilux? They're Australia's most popular utes for many good reasons, including their comprehensive after-sales networks and their robust resale values. It all depends on how big your budget is. But, based on LDV's bold power grab with this new T60 Max, we can say there's now yet another reason to give this value-packed option some close consideration.